Hi and welcome back at Paletta Football Academy. Have you seen Frankie de Jong's incredible turn on the pitch? Now it's time to learn how to do it yourself. Our step-by-step -step video tutorial breaks down all the details of this game-changing skill move. Frankie uses the turning skill mostly when a defender pressures him from behind. Now let's get started with level 1, the basic technique. You start with a short dribble. Touch the ball gently with the outside of your foot. This helps you keep the ball close and to protect the ball. The next step you don't touch the ball, but you make an aggressive feint step alongside the ball. Frankie now takes another feint step forward with his other foot. As soon as he lands the second step, he changes direction quickly by making an outside touch with his right foot. He keeps his body bent forward for maximum stability and to get the best grip for an explosive acceleration. Level 2. Timing With the Frankie turn, you are in full control of the timing. You take the lead and let the defender respond when you find the right moment. The Frankie turn is very effective with the defender closing in from behind with space behind you. To detect the space behind you, you always have to scan your shoulder. Frankie is a master in scanning. So if you time the first faint step as soon as you have seen that there is enough space behind you, you will see that the defender responds and follows you. That is when you take the second faint step. Now watch closely that the defender also steps in with his left foot. As soon as you see that he follows you, quickly change directions. Take an outside touch with your right foot in the opposite direction. Waiting for the defender to step in with his left foot has an important advantage. This makes sure that he won't be able to reach for the ball with his right foot when you change directions. Now you have to accelerate fast to maintain the head start and use the space for a dribble, a key pass, or a scoring opportunity. You probably ask yourself, what if the defender does not follow and does not step in with his left foot? The answer is, this will leave space on your left and you can continue in the same direction. So with a Frankie turn, you always have the right solution to maintain ball possession. It is a win-win skill. That is why every footballer should master it. Level 3. Scanning Scanning is very important in football, and especially with a Frankie turn, you have to scan the pitch and your shoulder properly. If you see some space on the pitch, you could even lure your opponent away from the space by slightly dribbling in the opposite direction. This will even create more space. If you see that the space is large enough to make a great dribble like Frankie, you know it is time to use the Frankie turn. You will be able to evade defenders with ease with this skill in your arsenal. How to train To master the Frankie de Young turn, you have to practice the move as follows. 1. Outside touch dribble 2. Faint step alongside the ball 3. Faint step with your other foot in the same direction 4. Outside touch in the opposite direction 5. Make yourself small for increased balance 6. Accelerate into space. Repeat as long as you need to perform the Frankie turn smoothly. And also train the skill with full resistance. Invite some friends and have fun practicing the move in real 1v1s. Now that you know all about the Frankie de Young turn to beat defenders, you also have to watch this video. And learn all about tight space 1v1 skills that Mbapp uses to nutmeg his opponents.